Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Josh Drive Hayes. This is my continued playthrough of Command and Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. This is the Brotherhood of Nod campaign. For the next mission, I'm going to go to the Italian Hills. Command Center, Ayers Rock, Australia, Yellow Zone. Excellent work, Commander. We are one step closer to ascension. Now, to operate one of these towers, we must gain access inside the way the visitors do. You must go to the assault staging ground, infiltrate their forces, and secure the key code. I'm counting on you, Commander. Do not let me down. Field Command Post, Kings Canyon, Australia, Yellow Zone. Man, I keep seeing Killian's face. Those eyes are ours. Looking right through me. Sorry. Anyway, back to business. But I gotta be honest with you, Commander. We still don't have much intel on these invaders or visitors or whatever you want to call them. But I do know this. Those relay nodes are where all the reinforcements are coming from. Capturing one's gonna be a suicide mission. Check it out. The closest relay node is here in northern Italy. But the place is so well fortified, I don't think a ghost could get through those defenses. Your best bet's gonna be a two-stage attack on these alien locations. But I'm not gonna lie. This one's a real ball buster. Nice. Even the game's telling me it's hard. Let's try. Kane wants to gain access to the towers being constructed by the visitors. When they're finished, these huge structures will become interstellar gateways opening up a path to the stars for the Brotherhood. The key that unlocks our destiny takes the form of a code embedded in a crystal lattice, somewhat like the Tacitus. Your mission is to storm an alien relay node structure in Italy to acquire one of these keys. What little information our sensors can give us indicates there is an abandoned construction facility in the area. We can't drop in any heavy equipment, so use the construction site as a base of operations to build up an attack force. Ultimately, you need to get a saboteur into that relay node and he'll do the rest. Expect heavy resistance. Okay, you've got one avatar already. Beautiful. Need a power plant first, eh? Send a saboteur into that relay station to retrieve, retrieve the map key from the key. alien relay node. Gotcha. That's all we need to do. Construction complete. Sounds New bonus objective. simple New enough. Construction options. Let's draw the gravity stabilizer on the north ridge. New bonus wow. Objective. Okay, cool. Let's draw the stasis chamber. It's over there. New bonus objective. Capture three alien Tiberium extractors. Seriously, there are so many bonus objectives. I'm going to be honest, none complete. of them are happening. They are too bonusy for me. There are bonus objectives and there are bonus objectives, and that is a crazy tough bonus objective. What I want first of all is, well, the ability to produce. At the minute, I need a construction yard. I haven't even got one of those yet. Now, I'm glad I've got a Tiberium spike. Although I don't yet, do I? I'll build a, a Hand of Nod next and capture this Tiberium Spike. That's going to be a nice, constant source of income for me. And I'm going to send my Avatar down here to pick this up, whatever it is. If it's a extra... You come here, Commando. Go over there. If this ranks my Avatar up, that'll be even better. Beautiful. Avatar starts at a higher rank. Can I please build you... Data and another harvester Training. is going to be great. And of course, we are out of power pretty much immediately. Looks like this is going to be a slow, constant upgrade level. Right, I need to build a tech lab to get me an avatar. And an operations sensor is needed for a tech lab. I want lots of avatars, and I want lots of anti-air. Which is oh, good! You actually shot something. That's nice of you. I want to march the avatars forward. That's the plan. 
or send a load of bombing runs at them. We always do a load of bombing runs. And the tech lab to improve you. Need more power for the tech lab. I still haven't technically got a construction yard, which I'm not all too happy about. I don't feel very safe right now. I've got a lot of Tiberium, but I don't feel safe. I need to defend this this Tiberium spike. That's a big, big thing. I can't build any defences yet, which is really annoying. I don't need... You know what, some anti-air might be nice, and some anti-air would be some rocket squads. Just for the time being, rocket squads is all I'm going to need. Ultimately, avatars and rocket squads are great. I can now build avatars. Beautiful. Uh, avatars, beam cannons are always good. Can I build an MCV? Because I technically don't have... Don't have a construction yard. One of those seems like a good idea. Ooh, I can build a Tiberium chemical plant for that awesome, brilliant missile. Let's cancel you guys and just build you instead. Level up all the power plants I've got. And where is more Tiberium when you need it? There's some over here. But I'm not sure if there's going to be any enemy presence over here. Most likely there will be. You know what the game's like. Yes, I'm here. You go and stand over there. Just hang around for a bit. Yes, could you come down here and just, just unpack? Brilliant. Now you've unpacked and I can actually build... I can't build any defences yet, what the hell? Why can't I build any defences? What is up with that? Right. Ah, the Catalyst Missile costs 2,000, does it? Okay. Uh, seed Tiberium, accelerating the Tiberium growth rate. Interesting. Very interesting. I can seed Tiberium to increase its growth rate. I quite like that. As, as an army, that's quite clever. Let's use the Catalyst Missile and blow up some of these, shall we? I think three of them, was it? Excellent. We'll blow up these things over here. I'll send as many Catalyst Missiles as I can afford. Ah, it hit no Tiberium and did basically no damage. That's interesting. Intelligence data updated. That's annoying. Hitting basically nothing is very, very annoying. But I can keep seeding the Tiberium over here. Let's see what happens if I seed it over here. How much? How big is the area? Oh, it pretty much just drops a load of Tiberium. I like that. That is good. I could wait for the Catalyst Missile to come back, I suppose. Or I could make a move into the world and see what else there is to see. Let's see what the world's going to show me. Okay, so there's already an enemy base up there. I want to be focusing on capturing this bit over here, don't I? I like that growth accelerator. That's a nice Silos idea. Needed. Silos are needed, eh? Oh, vapor bomb. That's the big one, isn't it? That's the really powerful one. Yeah, let's drop that over here. See what happens. Drop me the vapor bomb, please. See if that blows any of these things up. GDI has incoming reinforcements, Commander. Show me the vapor bomb first, then I will watch everything else. I want to see how much damage this actually does. Come on. When I've seen how effective this is, I'll go and look at what else is going on. Are you gonna gonna drop? If I go away, is it gonna suddenly land? Have I lost an avatar? I don't think so. Why has the vapor bomb that I've just dropped not gone off? Ah, you know what? I bet the I bet the aircraft got shot down on its way there. That that seems to be what's happening more. Um, let's build some avatars and another harvester to pick all this up a lot quicker. Is my Tiberium spike? Still working. Doesn't seem to be doing much anymore. Should be gaining me. There it is, plus 25s. 
Ooh, interesting. We're now actually under attack. I can't... There we go. Now I can build defensive stuff. I'm going to put an obelisk of light down there, because they are just fantastic. Seriously, the obelisks of light are just great. Now build me some more walkers, please. When the obelisk is ready, we can slowly but surely make our way forward. Attacks from the air are always going to be an issue. And I love this Seed Tiberium bomb. That's a great little thing. Let's upgrade everything. Let's upgrade some anti-air over here. And another... I think perhaps another obelisk is necessary. Hopefully another obelisk is being built. I need to get rid of some of these facilities, so let's attack the enemy, shall we? Get rid of their defense first. Always blow up the enemy's defenses. And then destroy the means of production. Once the defenses are down, the means of production. Once the means of production is down, the actual facilities we need to blow up. Once the facilities are done, we can attack anything that's causing us grief. Come on, two avatars should be able to take on a tripod. Once you're done, you should be able to focus on the tanks and sort them out. You are avatars. Act like it. Beautiful. What I've now got is that power plant. It's a reactor. What I now want to do, actually, is send some saboteurs this way. These avatars are here and they're ready. You guys are going to secure this area for the time being. I want to send a saboteur up here to capture these power plant look like looking things and then put my base defenses pretty much straight here. Saboteur, are you there yet? Beautiful. Saboteur, I need you to come up here. Ideally without dying. So let's send these avatars to watch over you as we go. There you are. Yep, thank you for finishing the building. Build me some more avatars. I've got a obelisk of light pretty much good to go immediately. Go and capture that. Avatars, come this way and defend him. Defend him to the death. Our base is under attack. Building captured. Okay, I've captured it, which means I should be able to build near it. Isn't that correct? Oh, apparently not. Okay. Units lost. Well, let's build another one of you. Building. And then some anti-air. Why can I not build a refinery over here? I thought that would count as my building, to be honest. Complete. Some anti-air. Give me an emissary. An emissary should be able to move up here. Stick down here. Do I need more Tiberium? I do. If I had 500, I'd seed it. I don't have the ability to seed just yet. Let's cancel you and then seed this area with Tiberium. Beautiful. As long as it drops more than 500 Tiberium, because otherwise it's ultimately pointless, isn't it? I'm assuming it does definitely drop more than that much Tiberium. Ah, okay, you guys can't shoot up, so run backwards slightly. Show me some anti air. You guys walk back this way. Give me some anti air. Cancel you for the time being. What I need is loads of avatars. Ideally some anti-air as well. Need to be fixed. If only the avatars were anti-air, would be great. Attack bikes are good versus aircraft, aren't they? Shoot the big thing first. I think that's actually damaging me. And then take everything else out. That's the way I do it anyway. Well, 
Where is... There you are. I need to effectively march onto the enemy with enough anti-air and enough anti-ground. The best way to do that seems to be moving this way. That's a graphical glitch because there's a stealth tank there, or it tells me there is. In reality, there is not. Claimer, move over here. Need to build one of these things. Okay. All you guys have to do is defend this area. And the dirt bikes are my anti air, so come over here. Because you're going to be anti airing everything up over here. As soon as you're good to go, I'll have some defenses for you. Excellent. A few more minutes, a few more seconds, and we'll have this emissary. Catalyst missile launches a catalyst missile. I suppose, is there anything over here I could hit? There's no Tiberium, so I'm going to try and just hit one of those dead on and see what happens. It does basically nothing. There really is almost no point in building one there. Should be able to build, however, a Tiberium refinery just here. Anti air. One, two, three. And another obelisk of light, please. The obelisk of light should be able to take care of that tank pretty much by itself. Siberian field has been depleted, has it? Well, you know what? You guys stay down here and you come up to this blue field. It's all about endless march of technology forward. If there are any more Tiberium spikes or silos, I'd capture those ones. You know what I really need? It's more avatars. So, let's build a few. Just there. Another obelisk. And another one. The question is how many obelisks do you need before it's too many? It's a trick question. There are never too many obelisks of light. Can you go to there, please, mate, you absolute idiot? One more obelisk, and then a load of anti-air over here. I've got a lot of income. I've, I can't doubt that. I have got a lot of income. I mean, I need more. Don't get me wrong. You always, always need more. Stick you there, then give me some anti-air. We're going to need... Oh, they've got those horrible planetary assault carriers. Complete. We're going to need a lot of anti-air for those guys. But we can keep building a load of anti-air. If only the avatars shot down. They'd, they'd be overpowered then, wouldn't they? Go down to air too. Three. You guys can blow the tripod up. Absolutely. Even leveled up. Good man. We are now bringing in money quicker than we are building it, which is. Or well, bringing in money quicker than we're spending it, is what I should say. You can't build money, can you? What I need is another power plant. Another few power plants, actually. Let's seed the Tiberium down here. Sure, our base is under attack, but it was me with my own Tiberium bomb, so it's not really a major issue. Let's find a place to put this. That'll do. You build me some avatars. Anything else? Fix this. I need you guys to go and shoot this thing down. Please go and shoot down the planetary carrier. There we go. Four bikes is all it took. Four bikes, and we pretty much wrecked them. 
I say that, there's still still guys here, aren't there? Shoot you first, then bikes shoot you down. How many avatars we got down here? Oh, we've got seven avatars and some bikes. That should be enough to pretty much march on the enemy and uh, shoot them. If I can blow up this, I'm not too bothered. Not dropping a vapor bomb yet. I don't think we need to. Might stick some more SAM turrets over here, though. And get you fixed up. Nice. 13 avatars. And they're going to keep building them constantly. I'm not stopping building them. And with them being built still... Let's slowly make our way forward toward this area over here. That's where I want to be. If I can go over here, all the better. Can the avatars hit that from here? Probably not. If not, I don't worry about it too much. Sure, our base is under attack, but I'm also sure I'm going to be totally capable of dealing with it. Excellent. Move forward. Avatars, attack. Please blow this thing up first of all. Then this thing. See, destroy the means of production, and we are good to go. Destroy the gravity servers on the north ridge. Done and done. Now we attack move over here. We should even send some bikes out. The bikes should do their thing and at least shoot some things down. Let's take both the bikes and tell them to attack the main ships. All the avatars, however, can come with me. Come on, avatars. I know you're being shot constantly. But it's not that much of a problem, is it? Got a crazy amount of health. Bikes are going to stay back here and do their own thing, or are they dead? It doesn't really bother. When you have enough avatars, you don't need to worry about anything else, really. Let's destroy the drone platform. Again, means of production. March them through, forget about everything else. Whatever you are. Oh, that's an engineer unit. So that was actually going to... Can we blow you up, please? Come on, it's a drone platform. Keep shooting it. When that's done, blow up everything else so they can't build anything. Advance through this. If I do an attack move, they'll start shooting at all the units now, which is good. Now they are very powerful units, it seems. So let's destroy everything else, means of production-wise. So my avatars are actually not able to take on whatever the hell these things are. Shock Trooper. Strong versus vehicles. Okay. Well, another avatar walk is going to be inevitable. Because I've got absolutely loads of the things. And I've got more than enough. Let's uh, hang around for a second and seed some Tiberium over here, I think. Growth Accelerator. I like that. That's good. Place in the middle of a Tiberium field. Capturing this blue field, I think, has been one of the most important things to do. If I hadn't have done this, I think we'd have been in real trouble. And what I need to do is capture that, isn't it? So let's have a quick look. Retrieve the map key. Do I do that by capturing it? Okay. Harvester, Ooh, where's my harvester going? And why are you going over there? Don't need you over there. I'd like you back down here, actually. Ace. Avatar is ready. I've got nothing anti-air. So what I want to do for the time being is stop producing the avatars. Start building some... Anti air. Let's seed the Tiberium over here first of all. Get an actual Tiberium seed thing going on. Let's build some of you. 
I don't want to stage an assault without some anti-air, because otherwise the air is just going to rip through all my avatars. I'm in a strong position though, I've got enough obelisks, and I've got more than enough pretty much everything to be honest, to, uh, to stage what I think is a pretty powerful assault. Send the bikes at that. They're going to prioritise the bikes, of course they are, that I've got. If I walk my avatars backwards, they've got to come past all my anti-air. All my anti-air should pretty much blow them out of the sky. As soon as their shields are dealt with. Yeah, let's walk my avatars this way, see what happens. Take on the rest of the map. Pretty much a death march over the whole thing. Come on, you 14 avatars, let's see what you can do. Take out their defences first, and once the defences are down, anything that produces units. If it makes units, please blow it up. I don't want anything that makes units, because units are terrible. There we go. And even more. What are we being attacked by, and where? Fix yourself, mate. No, keep blowing stuff up. You guys can deal with everything else. Go and attack the tripod. March of the Avatars is where it's at. I might even send a Reclaimer over here to build some more stuff. Because once we've blown everything up, they can't build anything else, can they? Attack move over here. Yeah, no worries over here at all. No worries. Strong versus vehicles and aircraft. Strong versus structures. You know what? Why don't we get absolutely loads of attack bikes again? Just make me loads of attack bikes, guys. Attack move over here, avatars. You're about to blow something else up. You are my my death march. Aren't you? I'm going to completely wipe out the screen on this map. I don't want any screen remaining at all. You can die. Blow you up. See? No chance of any enemy getting basically anywhere. All their bases are being blown up. All their blue Tiberium. That's becoming mine. That's my blue Tiberium. Move forward, guys. Shoot the means of production. Aliens are preparing for something, are they? I think so. What they should be preparing for is me blowing them up. Where is my reclamation vehicle? My emissary. I require you, emissary. Okay, shoot these defences first. I don't want them. You can always tell, guys, when I'm focusing intently on a game, because I go quite quiet and I'll just focus on what I'm playing. And that's that's what happened at the start of this mission, and I quickly realised that I can actually blow pretty much everything up. Why are you not gone as well? I'm pretty sure my... Oh, no, I've got to blow you up. You're a harvester. Okay. Brilliant. Secondary objective done. What are the other objectives? Uh, capture... Ah, oh, no, I'm not going to capture. Destroy the stasis chamber. Yep, that can happen. Now they have got some pretty tough units coming up. They have got some units coming up that are definitely tough enough to take down avatars in big numbers. I don't even know what this stasis chamber does, but I want to shoot it. They've got those elite units, these commandos type things, haven't they? They've got whatever that is. Buildings are all gone. Now let's destroy these elite units. The elite units can take down avatars really fast. I'm not happy with that at all. I've got to pretty much focus all my firepower on one of their elite units to have any chance of taking it down. Okay, 
and you'll see they've got air units too, that's the problem. I should have an army of bikes by now. I have an army of bikes. Come this way, guys. I need you. My army of bikes are going to take down the air. What I need all of my avatars to do. There's no point telling the avatars to shoot anything in the air. They can't hit it. So the avatars are going to take down everything that would give the bikes any trouble. And now the bikes are going to ride like the wind all the way over here. They can't shoot up, so you may as well march away, avatars. You can't do anything. And then I'm going to need a saboteur. Bikes, please shoot up. Beautiful. I think now we're in a position where this map has been absolutely decimated. I now need one engineer. Where are you? There you are. Uh, oh, I need an air tower for transport, do I? Okay, in that case I'll cancel that and build an air tower. Can't believe I haven't had to call for transport yet. It's pretty impressive. And another mission successfully passed because Nod are amazing. Let's build an air tower down here and let's call for transport. I can put this anywhere. No, we can't that bit. You call for transport. I'm not sure if I have to destroy this building or capture it, but I want to capture it. It seems like a cool thing to do. Transport. To try and do, anyway. Fly over here. Fly and land just here. Land just there. You guys get out of the way. You guys get out of the way as well. Let's hope my transport isn't shot down by anything. I don't think it will be. I don't think there's anything left on the map to shoot it down. Nope. I think we did pretty well with that. Nerve center. I'm going to capture you. All I've learned about Nod is that if you spam avatars and bikes, you're normally trying. Capture the nerve center. Retrieve the map key. Done. Lightning strike. Oh, cool. That's like their super weapon. And another victory for the Brotherhood. I'm becoming more and more invested in being part of the Brotherhood of Nod. I want to get one of those berets with a little symbol on it. I might buy one. Half an hour. I'll take that. Retrieve the map key. Done. Uh, everything apart from capturing the extractors. I could probably do that if I tried next time. And that leaves us with Operation Stiletto coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me so far. I will see you in the next video where we play Operation Stiletto, turn the weapons of the GDI and visitor forces against them. Okay, I'll see you there.